Kenyans are staring at difficult moments as the coronavirus monster continues to hit various parts of the country. After registering its 216th case, after eight new cases were reported on Tuesday. That some of our positive cases are actually Kenyans who have had interaction with different members of the public across the country. In the last 24 hours, fellow Kenyans, we have tested 694 samples. Out of these samples, eight have tested positive for coronavirus disease. The spread of the new cases with regards to their counties of residence is as follows. Nairobi, 6. Siaya, 1. Nakuru, 1. Even more worrying is the penetration of the virus to the grassroots counties, with the health chief administrative secretary Masi Mwangangi warning the Kenyans over the surge of the numbers. We are already witnessing a phenomenon where the virus is increasingly moving to counties. I think in the last few days you've seen the numbers in the different counties are on the rise. The virus is now domiciled across the length and breadth of a republic from down south in Kilifi to Mandera in the north. Uh, some of the counties affected so far include Nairobi uh, with 101 cases, uh, Kilifi County with 10, Mombasa County with 34, Nakuru 5, Mandera 6, Kiambu 7, Lakipia 2, uh, Kisi 1, Kitui County 2, Kajado 2, Moranga 2, Homa Bay 1, Kakamega 2, Nyamira 1, Nyandarwa 2, Nyeri County 1, Wasingishu County 2, Viga and Kwale counties 1 case each. The country is now set for the mass testing exercise, with the process set to begin in the hotspot counties of Nairobi, Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi and Mandera. Taking into consideration the risk profiles of clusters, and as an example for your Kenyans, in Nairobi for instance, we shall prioritize the quarantine centers, hotels, isolation facilities and hospitals. These form our top four priority in Nairobi. We have also identified different cluster areas and in the coming week we shall be able to share with you where these cluster areas are within Nairobi County and in the different counties. The Kenya Ports Authority in Mombasa has now raised concerns after seven of its staff tested positive for the virus. The seven are in the hospital receiving treatment with the new cases in the largest port in Kenya coming after one of its staff, a 59-year-old James Oyugo Nyango, is suspected to have died of COVID-19 over the weekend. As an example, Kibera has been identified and we shall also have prioritized testing in that cluster. In Mombasa, we are deploying 1,000 testing kits to Kenya Ports Authority, KPA. And this is based on the risk of transmission that has been identified from our monitoring teams. And the same will happen in Mandera and Siaya counties. In total, the first phase of mass testing will see approximately 12,000 testing kits deployed. Uh, so far, nine Kenyans have succumbed to the coronavirus related complication with 41 recovering from the disease. Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Jeff Haimba.